Losing the person I loved the most was one of the hardest things I've ever had to face. And because I was away from home, it made it much more difficult. That is when I saw how important it is to have a friend. A friend to ease the burden. A friend to take care of things when you can't. A friend to help you get home. Hello, good people. Hello, good football fans. Welcome to another exciting episode of In Touch with a Legend. This is your favorite footballing show where we bring you a footballing legend in Zimbabwe to come here to share with us their footballing journey, their story, shenanigans, success stories, lows and downs, everything else about their football career right here on the show, which is powered by Nyarazo Group. My name is Alois Bunjira, and in the studio today, we've got a former Dynamos, former Capes United. Uh, may, let me start with former Capes United, <laughs> former Capes United, he also played for Dynamos. Very few players in the country have played for both Dynamos and Capes United. And we've got one player here who has done that and we would want to know as well. We want to know how it feels to play for the two big clubs in the country. We've got Ashley Rambane Pasi. Ashley, welcome to the show. Ah, you're welcome, my brother. It was a when a producer do Francis with Webana. It was a struggle. <laughs> I think he started calling me last year. Yeah. So I kept on telling him I'll come, I'll come next yeah. week. But also because of busy schedules, mm. I wasn't able to to make it. Yeah. But uh, today, I, I was on my neck. I was mm. tired. I was people asking us what we should do. We should go to Asia. We should go to United. When we don't go, so most of them when we don't go, my former players are going to go to Chi. When we don't go, so we go to Tika. Inside the but it's not anything. Mm. We want to clarify something. You, Ashley Musa, Ashley Rambani Pass. People were asking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I've got two same names. Uh -huh. My name is Ashley Musa Rambani Pass. Okay. So, in my in our family, some members of the family they use Musa, mm. and some they use Rambani Pass. Okay. So. On my birth certificate, it was written Rambane Pass, but I didn't like the same name. It was just too long <laughs> for my liking. Is it? Okay. So yeah, yeah. Mm. I just called myself, I was using Musa, but on everything, every document, it was written Rambane Pass. Mm, pass. Okay. So when I started playing football, I was just using Musa, 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 Musa. So everyone knew me as Musa, Musa, Musa. Mm. But when it comes to my documents, they are written Rambane Pass. That's why I had to revert back to using Ramane Pass. Oh, Ramane but Pass even my sisters, my blood sisters, they use Musa. My my blood brothers they use Musa. Oh okay. Yes. But then you 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 took Ramane Pass as the official. Yes. It's the official. Yeah because a lot of people were confused. We also asked mm -hmm. them as well what Chitambu Marimo and people were getting confused. But thank you very much for clarifying that. But we know actually is a former footballer who was very successful in Zimbabwean football, but a lot of people they don't know where did it all start. What I could be, because that's why we're here. We're talking about a former footballer's history. Where were you born? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I was born in 1981, June, in Shitungwiza. Um, I, I was all areas. Yes, <laughs> I I was actually born in Shitungwiza. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to stay in Zengeza, Zengeza one. Actually, it was number one ninety, n number ninety one Nanga Street. I just went to Nanga. Yeah, that's where I was born. I was so young. Oh yes, yes. okay. Because that's that's my hood. Oh, isn't? I, I stayed in Ado I I grew up in Dovi Street. So we don't go cross our barume. They know for no pin them not showing within Nanga. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know much about, the, about that area, <laughs> yes, I know but I know uh, my father used to have a house number 91 Nanga mm -hmm. uh, Crescent or something. And so uh, I was born there, uh, we moved 
when we moved to Eiffel's coming from Shtungiza, I heard I was three years old. So oh, I was still you moved so when you were three. Ah, that's why you don't. Yes. Yeah, you don't. But I was born in Shtungiza. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't know one boy. <laughs> yeah, still I'm. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a Shtungiza yeah. guy. Can talk to my select teams. You have to play for Senghi. You are eligible. You are eligible to play for Senghi. I'm already on the field. Field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Field. That's that's where I actually I grew up knowing. Um, mm -hmm. Where, where I can still remember everything. Yeah. I was in Highfields. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which part of Highfields? Yes? Uh, New Stains, Old Highfields. Oh, old Highfields. Old Highfields. Yeah. Yeah. Close to, to yeah, close to uh, Suva Chigwenji's area. When I was Fusi. Fusi like, most, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, we okay. stay in the in the in the same mood. Mm -hmm. So that's where I grew up, and I attended my primary primary education at Mbizi Primary School. Mm -hmm. It was just a walking distance away from from the house. Uh, I remember when I was in grade four, mm -hmm. there was a guy, I, I, I don't actually remember his name. There was a guy who was... I, I hope he's watching. I hope watching. Yeah, I, hope, I hope so too. Mm -hmm. um, there was a guy, this guy was so much interested in, in, in football. Uh, so he was, he would, he would come, you know, like after school. As young boys, you would gather and play my games. I remember I my games. I go to Munisa, Mugaz, like a ground game. You put to my, to the dinner to my get, mm -hmm. and then you just play. Maybe four versus four, five versus five. So you would always come and watch us play. Mm -hmm. So I think this guy got an opportunity to from uh, Blue Ribbon, Chibata Ura, because he started a, a junior team called Chibata Ura. Oh, okay. I was in grade four by then, so he took. All of us. We are going to team game. Game 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 big. Do you know what I Do you know what I mean? I think it was under 13, under 12. Yeah. It's about our So we would train us in Zimbabwe grounds because that's it's Zimbabwe grounds is close to yeah, our so place. Yes, yeah. So we would train there. So one day we, we organize a friendly game. I, do, I think we played against uh, some team from Zororo, the other part of Highfields. Yeah. And then, second game, we organized the game against the Mbizi Primary School. At school, I wasn't playing football. Yeah. Uh, so, I remember I was, uh, it was my, it was my, my second game. We played against my, my school. Your, your school? Uh, you were, you but people from school, school, they didn't know that I, I, I also play football. Okay, yeah, because yeah. also, I wasn't attending the, 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 the games and all. And so, and so, exactly. and time, yeah. so we were, we, were made to, we were made to play against their senior team, like the, the school senior team. And I remember we lost uh, about 6-1, but we played very well. Mm. And I was doing very well in midfield. Yeah. So I, the next Monday on assembly, because we played on a Friday, and then the, the next Monday, uh, the school, the soccer school teacher announced on assembly that everyone who played for Chibata Ura, uh, should attend training oh, because yeah. like to well, because my mind to talk about to know exactly so like the majority yeah, yeah. of the guys who were from 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 busy primary school okay, yeah. so he said everyone who played for that club should come for training so i just took it for granted i didn't i didn't attend yeah, training yeah. so i didn't know that this teacher was actually aiming at me it was you right? <laughs> it was me he wanted yeah i didn't i didn't go for training then the next day the next tuesday uh, I, I had uh, the, the teacher came to our classroom and he said he wanted to see me. Mm. When I went out outside the door, outside the classroom, he told me, "You did not come for training yesterday. Mm. You should attend training today. Yeah. Without fail, you should attend yeah, training." Order, man. It was an odd, <laughs> but still, I wasn't serious and I wasn't so sure whether I, I want to go or not. So when after school, I went back home and I was supposed to go back for training. Mm. So I was contemplating when I was should I go, should I not. Mm. Then I said, ah, maybe they'll just, uh, I'll, I'll get punished. You know how they used to do it at schools yeah, long yeah. back. Mm. You would get a, a heavy punishment. Yeah. So I decided to go, but I, I went there a bit late. So the teacher was actually standing by, by the office. You know, it, the office, the school was designed in such a way whereby if someone is standing by the office, you would see everything from the gate. Yeah, okay, yeah. So the teacher was standing by the reception there. And he saw me getting in the school yard a bit late. Maybe it was about 30 minutes later on. So he called me and he was 
He wanted, you actually wanted to beat me, but then he said, this is the last warning that I'm giving you. Go and attend training. I went attend training. Uh -huh. Everyone was actually waiting for me. Mm. So I started training, and that's when I started playing for, for the reserve side. Yeah. Like the school reserve the side. School, yeah, second team. So, yeah. So I played for about three, four games, and then I disappeared again. But I didn't want to play football. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the three, four games, but I'm going to go to the school. I disappeared. That was grade four. Then grade five, I didn't, I didn't play. Then when I was in grade six, I'm going to go to the school. When I was in grade six now, uh, they looked for me again. And also, I think that that would be a good Plus, my players are not paid. My players are not paid. I'm going to go to the school. Exactly. I'm going to go to the school. Uh, and then we took an interest a bit. So I, uh, when like when the season was starting, I started training with the reserve side as well. I, I was not, I, I couldn't play the first team by then. So what happened was, uh, one of my my best friends, like he is late now, Prince Kadewere. Mm. We were in the same class. Oh, okay. And he was my best friend. So Prince Kadewere was playing for was playing for um, Rufaro Rovers Juniors. Okay. Uh, the team used to train in Zimbabwe grounds, uh, coached by Ziva Naichiangwa. Oh, okay. Zifa. I think yeah, yeah. Zifa Man Zifa. Yeah, no, man and Zifa. the late Charles Tayo, he was also from Eiffel. Those were the two Charles coaches. Who? Charles Tayo. Oh, Charles Tayo. Who's Charles Tayo, Tayo, yeah. I think he played for, for Arcadia. Oh, okay. Yes, during his time he played for Arcadia. Oh, well, yeah, because I remember Zifa had something to do with Arcadia. That, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Point, yeah. exactly. So, what we used to do with Prince Kadewer? Uh, we stayed in the same mood. People would come to my to my to my place. He uh, picks me up. Then we would walk. I would walk him to to Zimbabwe grounds. Mm. He would get in the training. I would just I would sit outside. Would you want to have yeah. training? The, the <laughs> entire training I would be sitting yeah. outside just watching. <laughs> uh, when they are done, you know, <laughs> not, not even. I was not interested. I can I can't imagine me at yeah, that age going ground rebora Yeah. But but that's okay to the new boys would go and play our games. Yeah. I was, and I was very good. Mm. So one day what happened was, uh, uh, the same routine with Prince Kadewere. We went for, for his training. And uh, some of their guys he came, he did not make it, make it on time. Sakavanga mm. shorter. And uh, there was a drill that needed uh, a certain number of people. So Prince is the one who told Man Ziva, then when I was just seated there, I saw Man Zifa coming to me. Mm. I was like, what's going on? Then he said, I'm going to be a team of people. I'm going to be a team of people. I'm going to be a team I, I, I agreed to that. I've got a few minutes. A few minutes, but no, I should have been grown to memory. You know, you know, when you are playing with, with, without pressure, yeah. you play it easy, you, you play your normal game. You know, that I would have my mind. So it was like mm. my drills, I have five versus two. I have a little away. Getting confidence, I'm going to ask you, Pepe. He is busy watching, okay? Mm. Okay. So when their guys came, I wanted to go out, and he said, no, 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 no you are not going out to play. <laughs> so after the training, he called me. Mm -hmm. But I ended up uh, training the whole session. The whole session, yes. yes. After the training, he, told, he, he called me. It was on a Friday. He said, uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Uh, every, everyone was training without boots. <laughs> barefoot. And, uh, hey, barefoot. Uh, so and you know, it's Baba Grounds. I know. You know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were very, very, very much comfortable playing without, without yeah, boots. Yeah, I was I was going to You can't that. do it now. Yeah, not anymore. You cannot. You can't even, you can you even walk walking. outside the, yeah. the yard without shoes. It's difficult. So uh, after the, the training, he, he, he came to me. He said, uh, tomorrow we've got a game against Acadia United. Uh, I would want you to, to come and play. Uh, so he knew from Prince Gadio that he, I wouldn't attend. Yeah, yeah. So he said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to come and pick you from your house. Mm. 
Ish. You also have a bamba. Eh, you know, to pick a bus, we've, got, we've got a bus. Eh. So the bus will come and pick you up. Then I said, ah, okay. So when I when I went when I went home, I told my mom. So wait a minute. So far, far as the time you were young, you were young, you were young, you were young. Yes. Yes. Yeah, was the owner. Yeah, was the owner. The team, right? Yes. Young guy, mu sub mu Premier League. Premier League. Okay. The I first, their first team was in the Premier League. Okay. So yeah. and these were, were the juniors. Oh, okay. Yes. Then I remember my juniors, my wagas with our Nigerian team, but now we that team here for over. So I'm going to that time. But wagas with there was uh, Rowan and Zou. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, uh, Prince Kadewere. There was Gerald Babara, a uh, brother to Tino Kadewere, uh, Gerald. Uh, who else? There was Yebed, Yebed Zimbeva, he played for yes, Black Aces. There was Tendem Warura, mm -hmm. he played for Black Aces, Dynamos, yeah. if you remember Tendem Warura. Yes. But those guys, those were my senior guys. Mm. Uh, there was also, who else? Captain Muzu, Magic Farai, Magic Fatso. Mm -hmm. he, he, I think he played for Mambas. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Farai yeah. he, he was the best player in that, in that, in that team, in that, in that, in that group. under 18 yeah. group. But even Prince. He was playing for the under 15s. Yeah. yeah. So when I arrived there, I was obviously going to play for the under 13s. Under 13s, yeah. yeah. Magic Farai. And then there was also another Farai from Glenview. He, 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 those are the two best players in that team Farai Gouvea and the Farai, the other Farai from. So what from happened Glenview. to Farai Gouvea? Why didn't he. he what, what do you think? Why he, you know, he I, I, I personally think Kuti Chumucho Nuchino, Kangani, some of my players. Uh, is because those guys they get too much attention from the coaches they get too much love mm -hmm. from the coaches they can decide not to train and the coaches yeah. have got no problem with that exactly and also uh, maybe because I'm not I will make it Usually, you think it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. And one thing that they will they will stop doing is is training hard. Training. Because I don't watch much. I know go now. I'm a star. Uh, even even on my when it comes to my friend Prince Kadewere, he was even if you ask people of my generation, everyone knew from every junior club they knew there was Prince Kadewere at Rufaro Rovers. You got injured. At an early age, because Prince Kadule was a very good dribbler, mm. he, so he would keep the ball for too long. So obviously, you'd be inviting trouble. Yeah, yeah. So he got an ankle injury at a tender age, so that ankle kept on giving him problems. Yeah, problems. it is. It, it standard is growth. Exactly. So those are not going to come. Players are not going to stay there. But I think that that was the same situation as well with Farai Guve. I got some injuries. Are mudiki foot. Both these guys were dribblers. Yeah. So people got injured at tender ages, but those were very brilliant players. The Huti is Zimbabwe I wanna something out of those guys. Unfortunately. So what else so when I went back home, I told my mom, yeah. I mama, I not I not I not I not I not I was I not 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 I people knew that in Nina I could not convince my parents. Could not go to He knew exactly that they would say no. So what he did on the day, like he, it was the, on the, in, the, in the in the morrow, yeah. like on the Saturday now, <coughs> the day of the mm -hmm. game, people came to the house early in the morning. He told mom, Mama, to go and ask Kubore. Oh, I've already told you. But I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. All right. Pass another twenty minutes. Things work about buzz ready to the river. So it's sound good in tea. Things work and tea, tea. Buzz ready as it. Rap a gate. Mama buzz ready as it. Rawi. Saga, I didn't ask my boots, but. So I'm going to special. I don't know what day. Well, I don't know what day. Saga, I didn't ask my football boots. But my brother used to play rugby. Mm. My my blood brother, like my, my elder brother, used to play rugby at school. 
he was at Lord Morven. Yeah. So I took one of his old boots, but I got my job by rugby. You know, good darwa no think about job. They were just a bit bigger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they were about one, two size bigger. Saga no man, they say my my inner soul. No, like inner soul, you put in another inner soul inside. Yeah. Like she jumbo, jumbo, she she rugby. She six third. Then I went. Man, let's go by starting eleven. Yeah, under thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. I scored a brilliant goal. Ne jumbo yo. Ne jumbo yo. It was a volley. I remember it was a volley that I scored. Yeah. Uh, we won eight zero. You know Acadia. I we young guys are yeah that yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. My junior squad at that time. Mm. Young guys competitive when it comes to under seventeen, under nineteen. But my under thirteen, under fifteen, young guys actually a bit weak. So I scored. So on that that developed a forty interest in him as well. Jaku na kids. Jaku na kids. So we, I started going for training every day with Prince. Uh, that's how I actually started my my my, my football career. Yeah. And then going back to my my football at school. Now because I was playing for the Faro Rovers, I was also encouraged now to play for for the senior team for the senior at, team school. at school. Yeah. But uh, surprisingly, when it, at at Mbizi Primary School, I was playing as a defender, as a centre back. Mm. What happened was, panga pa ne team, and the ini nanda utamba ku faro rovers. You know when you're playing for juniors, waku develop much faster, waku when the football football understanding iri iri much better than guys from school. From school. Because my teams are much cooler. My match on the young goti. Are interested in going at time. Yeah. Bongo zi we are. Ini kana kiamu na chonge ni kuzi sambi. Yeah. Saka. We wanted to create balance. There was a, there was another guy, Munyaradzi, Tim Tim Munyando. Yeah. He was our team. He was our, one of our pillars yeah. in the team. Munyaradzi was in item number five. Yeah. And then PP would play in the midfield, going forward. So PP Ega would destroy teams. Yeah. So, yeah. And then our, there was some midfielders who were very poor. They were to maintain balance. Kumashuru kuchire ge nindi nota papa senda begi na mnyarad. Tia sisi balance kumashuru. Mungu kuchite mbamba. Na dagu tamba rafu rovers. Dova dagu dava ndatanga kutamba as a as a centre back. Yeah. I think that's where I developed my my marking skills. No more. You started playing as a as a centre back. As a centre back. Primary. Mungu kwa grade nine manch. I was in I was in grade six, grade seven now. Mungu kwa grade seven. Seven. Alright. We just gonna go for a break. When we come back, we want to know about the games that you started playing as a centre back. Then we want to hear about your high school. Then going forward with your career, guys. Just go for a break. When we come back, we're gonna be talking more. We have got Ashley Rambarin Pasi, formerly Ashley Musa, as well as Anangasenga. He doesn't even go to Rambarin Pasi. He's gonna get rebels. If you're just joining us, guys. Yes, we have got Ashley Rambarin Pasi. We just going for a break when we come back we'll be talking to him some more don't move away nyara the life assurance company through one of its products the score pack plan supports highlanders football club one of the biggest soccer teams in the country and other local football clubs <laughs> With the score pack plan, not only will you score for you and your family, but for your favorite local PSL soccer team as well. For each premium payment you make, your nominated soccer club will get paid from the Nyarazo Life Assurance's score pack plan. Make sure you get a score pack, support Highlanders, Ipos or Ipos. When you get score pack, you're supporting Highlanders as a family and your own family. Every time you subscribe to score pack, you're supporting your family and Highlanders family. Get score, get score pack, pack today. today. Always support Highlanders football club. Ipos or Ipos. Supporting your team has never been this rewarding. Get a score pack policy and support your favorite football team today. As Nyaradzo, we strive to continuously bring convenience to our clients. Nyaradzo Group is proud to introduce Sawi, a new virtual chatbot assistant on WhatsApp. 
With Sawi, you are now able to interact with us from the comfort of your home and can be assisted anytime via WhatsApp. With life assurance products, diaspora products, applying and assessing your policy, payment platforms, claims information, and any other queries concerning payments, policy information, or products and services. Simply WhatsApp Sawi on plus two six three seven one two double nine two eight nine two or visit the link showing on the screen to register and start interacting and receiving notifications from Sawi on WhatsApp. Now join in and experience a new level of convenience 24 hours a day with Sawi. Welcome back in touch with the legend. This is your show, guys. I'm hoping that you are enjoying Powered by Nyarazo Group. But before we get into our second segment with Ashley Ramani Pass, we just want to remind you once again that please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zim Sokanet, and also go to our Facebook page, Zim Sokanet, and like the page so that we can communicate with you if you've got notifications or if you've got something nice that is happening on our pages or on our YouTube channel, we can notify you so that you can just rush and start watching and interact with us because we love for you to interact with us even right here on this show whatever you want to ask whatever you want to contribute on the show please just go into the comments box and say something if you want to ask actually I'm say a question or if you want to ask a question to me or if you want something that I should uh, ask Ramanipasi just type it there then we can actually go ahead and do it for you guys so that we want you to be part of the show we get along we go along together on the show we are both me and you me and you, that is, we are actually the host for the show. We are hosting Ashley Ramani Pasi. So be part of the show, guys, and interact as well with us as we go along. But too, Ashley, now you are playing as a center back. This is your first position, first team. Yes. At, uh, at, at, at the DC primary, DC school. primary school. Yeah, so How I, did you go? I started playing as a center back. And uh, I remember that year uh, we won the league. Yeah. Uh, the school won the, the league. Uh, they were, uh, I think, in Ifields, there is there are eleven primary schools. Mm -hmm. So you play ten games, mm -hmm. uh, warm and away. You play twenty games because you play warm and away. So from one of the schools, Rusingo. What do you say? Twenty games in primary school. Yes. In the whole twenty games. Yes. yes. Something that is not happening now, if people are listening, guys, this is what junior football used to be. 20 games in primary school, now they are going for a tournament. All those 11 schools, they go to a tournament, they play 15 minutes, 15 minutes, there are games, games, knockout, knockout, and the tournament is over, and that is it for the year. How sad is that? Yeah, it's very sad when it comes to junior football, because there's a whole lot of things that we would want to share, that we would want to to see improved when it comes to junior football. Because I tell you, uh, during our, our our playing game, our playing days, uh, there used to be junior football. Uh, every club in the Premier League, every club in the first division would have juniors. Mm. Uh, there was a league, a normal league well organized league for the juniors you know and there will be a fixture you know this week we're playing dynamos next week we're playing rhinos the in three weeks we're playing zupko all those teams those in, in first division there was also seco cement in mabuku in chitungwiza there was darren t there was zupko in Zimfos, yes. in highfield there was Faro rovers there was black aces there was zimbabwe crackers Kambuzuma United. Kambuzuma United. Right. So you would you would you would spend the whole day watching football if you were a football fanatic and you would watch good football, you knowing that Black Aces is playing Dynamos. I remember 
uh, uh, one day in the Zimbabwe grounds, it was like uh, it was like a tie after the end of the season uh, when Rufa Rovers was playing uh, Dynamos. It, it was Kosafa under 17, and Rufa Rovers was, was 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 one of the powerhouses in, in juniors and also Dynamos. Because I remember I saw Desmond Maringwa. Mm -hmm. uh, playing for Dynamos against the uh, Rufaro Rovers, that game uh, it inspired fireworks. me. Fireworks! Uh, it was fireworks. Yeah. I, I didn't know. That's when I started knowing Desmond Maringwa, mm. a great midfielder. You started knowing him in the junior, in the junior under 17. Yes. That's yeah. how football should be. Exactly. And also at Rufaro Rovers, there were there were big names as well. There was there was one guy called Norman Whiteside. I think he's he's coaching some team in Norton. Mm. Ah, he was one of the best midfielders we had in Far Rovers. Anyway, it's, it's, that's, 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 that we, 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 we'll touch on that story later on, but let's get let's carry on with your with your story. You you won the league. You were talking about how you we won the league. Yes. won the league. Yeah. Yeah. So it, there was it, there was a, there was a, there was a player uh, called Bindura at Roshingo Primary School. Yes. Mm -hmm. This guy was big. I think. Uh, uh, he was big even in terms of body and in, in terms of age. Okay. But he was at primary school. So this guy he was a striker. He would score goals. That guy would hit the net. Mm. So everyone knew that there's Bindura there. If you're playing with Rushingo, mm. there's, there was Magic Farai, my teammate at the Rufa Rovers. Aishambira Rushingo. Aishambira Rushingo. Yeah. And there was Bindura as well. Yeah, this so guy. I don't know. Uh, so what happened was. Okay, uh, I said, don't worry, I will, I will mark him. Yeah. And the, every, everyone was doubting me because I was very short. Yeah. And the, everyone was doubting. So when the game started, within five, ten minutes, you pushed me aside, you turned, you took a shot. It was one nil. Yeah. And the, the guys came to me and said, no, what can you do? I think mm. we need to mark this guy. Let's, let's two guys mark him. Mm. Then I said, no, don't worry, I'll deal with him. Don't mm. worry. Then from there, yeah. I told myself, he's not going to play again. Okay. Yeah. And that was it. It was big. Serious? It was big. It was tactical. It was, it was tactical. Yeah. It was tactical and I was doing both. I was doing both. I think that's why I started biting. <laughs> <laughs> because, because you know yeah. when you are playing against these big guys with yeah. big bodies, obviously you need to be physical at times and at uh, times you need to be tactical. Yeah. yeah, because if you want to go for power, obviously they will beat you. Yeah. Yeah. So he was not uh, tactically uh, talented. He didn't have in, in good ball control. At times he would control the ball and then the ball would run away from him. Yeah. So. So if when he controls, smart, yeah. I will just go in between him and the ball. Then I take it off. So I marked him, and PP did his magic. Mm -hmm. We won the game two one. So I was uh, pronounced center center back. Yeah. But of the two, like you know, Kudara, one would pick, and then we have sweeper. A sweeper. I mean, it was a sweeper, sweeper all the time. Yeah. Mm. So Mnyando was uh, was the sweeper. You know the main mark. And was the main mark. So that's when I started uh, marking. Yeah, in Ujimbo, bite the bite. Yeah, I would bite. I would bite. I would bite. I would bite. Yeah. I would bite. And also, maybe we considering the fact that I was also playing as a midfielder at Rufa Rovers. Oh yeah. You know, you would have, you would, you would be able, very comfortable to play the ball. To play, yeah. So at times, you would start, now we're encouraging our guys to start the ball from the back mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we're very comfortable. Munyando was very comfortable. There was another guy left back, Masimba. I think he's now in UK. We called him Masimba Dinero. Mm. Uh, he was very comfortable as well. So we would start the ball and then we would play going forward. Mm. And then after that, I then moved to uh, secondary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to ask. Form one, I, I was playing for the under 14s. Which school? Which school I, I moved school? to Eiffel Day 1. Oh, I feel uh, one. It was still in Eiffel. I feel I want to go to the much peace. Exactly. Because uh, and then Anna, Anna Prince, they had a house in Egypt. Okay. So now people we also moved together to Eiffel Day One. Now people were staying in Egypt. Okay. In, in not in all Eiffels now. In, the house was just close to the to yes, the school to, gate. To, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one, yeah. We played for the under fourteens. We actually but the people when we just arrived at Eiffel Day One, he was playing for the reserve side. 
Yeah. No, we were, we were in the oh, same oh, stream, oh, yeah, but because he was good, oh, okay, plus yes. Pepe had a uh, uh, height, oh, yeah. so he was playing for the reserve side, plus they actually, exactly. Know, exactly. Yes. Yeah. As for me, Magic Farai, we, we met at this, that same school, Wife the Magic Farai, I was the one. Wife of the one. Oh, I know Bindura, <laughs> that was the last time I, I saw him. I don't know if I don't have Bindura, I don't know if I have Bindura. So, we moved to FD1. In Form 1, I was playing for the under 14s. So, we, there was quite a second that reminds me, quite a second that was selected after, after league. Yeah. You could pick up guys from. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, like in our group, there was FD1 and FD2, Prince Edward, Lord Morven, Epwith. Apple oh, yeah, I remember you were in, you were in the same no, group. Yeah. Uh, those were the schools in, in our group. Mm. So after the after the league, and there was Ararai and George Stack as well. Yes, I remember Ararai, Ararai, as Ararai. Well, yeah, in that group. Exactly. So after the league, Baba Select was select yeah, under 14. That select would now go and meet other selects from other regions and mm. and other areas. And then for, for a tournament at Chechu. So I was Fortunately, I was selected into the into the select team. So what happened when we went to the tournament? Uh, they would vet now. Now they would use this vetting system. So unfortunately, on that day, one of our goalkeepers lost a, a mother. So you would not, you couldn't attend. Okay. And then we were left with one goalkeeper, and that goalkeeper we, we had. Uh, uh. So we had no goalkeeper now. Yeah. So, as can see, boys, Twitter say at Sina keep. No matter that you want energy, no matter. They end up a gate. No, it doesn't. Because Kumarai, you know what I'm talking about. Gabe said that. When we end up, then Buta, you go talk about a gate. You go to them, kick it away. So I was, I was. They end up a gate on the tournament. Ah, during the entire game, I was making good saves, and then you go, I'm a pain. Ah. I was going to get my pen and I eat it. I'm going to get my pen. My way. I'm But I don't go. The one guy who missed the pen out, but I got my team from, like, they were coming from Mufako's area. Mm. The one guy who missed the pen out, and I will save. I'm going to get my pen out. But we lost. So. It was a nice experience to being a goalkeeper as well on, on that in that day. So when I was form two, so what happened was Rufaro Rovers, Yakambayano collapse. Okay. Yeah. Then I moved it to Zimbabwe Crackers. Where I have food by Zimbabwe grounds. Yeah, Zimbabwe grounds. They used to train in Zimbabwe grounds. I was still in form one. I was in Zimbabwe Crackers. Come to Razimunya. 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 From from Zimbabwe Crackers, it was coached by uh, Zozo Mwanasanga. Mm. He used to be a goalkeeper. The JMB yeah. uh, Zozo Mwanasanga, I think, he, yeah, he's no, the I one who know. groomed the Tapiwa Kapini, uh, Tendeta Nyanyiwa, all those yeah. goalkeepers who were coming from Highfields. Yeah, they actually went to Zimbabwe Crackers. Exactly. Uh, in Dovanenda, Zimbabwe Crackers, and Vaya collapsed after in, in about six months down the line. So that's when now. Now, How long in that time with Zimbabwe Krigas? Zimbabwe Krigas, one could have a William, William what? William Shainewako. Mm -hmm. He played for Wanke and he also played for JMB. There was Musa Kapini. Mm -hmm. He played, he's late now. He played for JMB as well. There was Tapiwa Kapini. There was Tendai Tanyanyiwa. There was Kudzanai Mujuja. Could the name Juja? So tell me, so this thing here, ten day Tanya knew on a tapioca pinny, or come go beer, that was more. They actually grew up together. Even, exactly. They actually grew up together, even Ugadu Pavano Gara. They went to Garo, we were set up, we were friends. Exactly. Yeah, they actually grew up together. And the Tanya knew ten day in the Seguruang. Mm. Oh, okay. Baba Tanya Tanya is brother to my mother. 
Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So he's, he's, my, he's my cousin. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's my cousin. Jadaro, mm -hmm. uh, now I was in Form 2. Mm -hmm. uh, then I moved to Caps United. How did you move to Caps United? You just decided that I want to join Caps United? Uh, I, 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 I was just thinking. I sat down one day, I was, I was like, which team now do I go to? I didn't want to go to Black Aces. Somehow, I didn't like Black Aces. It was a, team that, a younger team in Marine. It was also training in Zimbabwe grounds, but I didn't like Black Aces. Why? I think maybe character, my players, Angari, Ko. Plus, also in iPhones, iPhones in the world. Then I was players, okay. Who were they? Then I was going to go to my team to my Def market was at Far Rovers. One of Far Rovers. Maketo broke. 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 Pepe Pai, para my team, when I move, watch this. So I think some of that's when he moved to Black Aces okay. along the way. But in the other one, I didn't know. Let me go to. I wanted to Aces, but I was contemplating. Then I said, let me go to Caps United. Mm. Because Caps United, they ain't a buzz. Right, Fura doesn't. Oh, right, Fura never. Mm. So I didn't think that. Ah, easy transport. And plus, they only do safety van. They got ah, let. Plus, Caps United, they train just once a week. They would train on Saturdays, Saturday morning. No, and that is the end of Caps. Then I went with Brent Baza. Brent Baza was playing a age group year ahead of me because he was a, a year or two older than me. Then we moved together from Zimbabwe Crackers. Brent from Far Rovers. Brent again to Aces. From Aces, no, I end up Caps United. So we went to Caps United at the same time. Mm. Then a Brent Baza. So. Uh, on my first day when I arrived at Cape United, the John Borangura is just an area. You know, and the Nguri Takura on that day, the guy was in the Ishka Nguri. I said, "Go and never because I know she's just an area." Rugby and what what? So the first day, the guy went and did some boots. Imagine it was it was common. Good on the national team. Yeah. When I arrived at Rotorn, ah, the base area for the Chitora band. First time, first time that I know me that was there, but close to Southerton Police Station. That opened the man that's in the late team that I put together. Oh, in the end, oh, the one in Chichi. Man, that's what I was. I think I'm going to go there. I pin the new player. I'm going to pin the base. I was going to ask you, but you're going to go to the base. I was going to pin the base. And then I got to it. I just go to. I'm going to bring my players. I'm going to meet the people. So I had to go and meet with them. Otherwise, in the end, they're going to ask me to meet the base. Ndo vanda pina, tashika u training kwa kuya. Ground level pa Rotorn, vara divided into four small pitches. Under thirteen, under fifteen, under seventeen, under nineteen. Each age group ina coach why. So ndagenda pa each group ina na coach James Vumbi. He was the coach for for the under thirteens, for the under fifteens. Now I was playing for under fifteen. James Vumbi was the coach. He welcomed me very well. Saka, tijungo ti tangi kutrena Mdara patika, like he was an overseer now For the whole juniors He saw that there was someone wearing a jean short Without football boots And that was me Then he called everyone He said, I got a picture Everyone come So, you know, you know Mdara patika You know Mdara patika He was very short Yeah, very short Yeah When he said, Mdara patika He came and stood behind me Besides me Arugu 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 chau rag. Zikanzi. Pana apa? Chinoda. Vanu ni smarti. Vanu ni vaga chena. Ati ni vanu ni vaga pega. Zaga ita u u u. Did you know that Obama did it? Are you? Are you? Zaga ni vaga pega vaga day. Unenda pa nze. Bakuru. Ati pa nze. The match we made. The end is gone pa nze. We have done a match together. Baba, this one is back to their to their positions. The pants, but I never go to the I had to wait for the training with the bear. So, there I go in the pants, the bear and everyone like from you know from coming from Rufaro Rovers yeah. and the Zimbabwe Crackers, who used to play against the, each other with these guys from Caps. Yeah. So most of the guys they knew me, and mm. also would meet as well playing for for our schools. 
Saka you know kuma juniors ku dare mune mako ziva hana because why boraita mbo raita mbo chikoro ma juniors mai ro mugusana mbo juniors mugusana saka vanhu yanga ngo ashazi 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 achi saka mudera patsika aka shamisika kuti munhu kuzika kuda kuzika nozikana kwa ari kuitwa nevanhu vake havaka there must be something in this boy but he didn't want to show it ndo vasiya zvakada vatin yaitwa yapera that time yekuenda kumba manje he called me ndo vati ashazi yakuno ndo vadai there was a guy commander 59 he doubt my bola and this under 15 caps yenge ne vanhu vakazotamba bola there was a Austin Mandava Leonard Sipa Thomas Sese Moses Jackson the current chicken in captain you you was a twin gun those were the two gunmen with Leonard Sipa he was a striker Moses Jackson Leonard Sipa Thomas Sese Boston Gondongwe is late now Austin Mandava Ozo Andrigu Seti they were brothers Setwari Rambi and Sani from Bari there was also who else was in that team Jimmy Chocha Charles Makaranga is it Charles Makaranga 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 Charles Makaranga and the star of the team was Daud Mabola like Upa Caps Juniors group group it was one group that was regarded this group is going to produce something so that was my age group so you called the captain now Daud Mabola akati mdaranti daiza vipi na Daud Mabola akati mfano indiano ajifuza Daud mkuzi ya game rea natika tamba kuma zombe ground visa zurufaru rovers muna kati niye tsaka uya uya ndiye ka uya you can see the end of it. What I hit next week, oh, it's okay. But who figures I can ask her? No, I don't think I'm there. I remember the following weekend, my mom was going to take care of my tender food. So, she tender food to change it to Jumbo. Chaji tonge chinema studs so I think from from these Chinese shops. Chaji tonge chinema studs the passes so. Boss six studs young way young guy young guy side young guy Afrik. ボスいいのいっぱい毎日ゲレンですいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいいのいい
This guy is good. I'm not gonna pull. Hey. I'm not gonna pull. I'm not gonna pull. Aisha, we're just gonna go for the break. When we come back, we do not go see. So I can't say when we went back. They turned up with their gachi. We don't go see. We don't go see. We don't go see. We don't go see. Guys, we just gonna go for the break. When we come back, we carry on with the Rambane Pasi. Actually, he is here. Former Dynamos, former Capes United as well. Former Zimbabwe International. Yes, he is here. And 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 they bite. Sakatu chance was ready to go by the Ganata Shigong Beiru. Ganata group are powering this show. Don't move away, guys. We are back in a moment. Losing the person I loved the most was one of the hardest things I've ever had to face. And because I was away from home, it made it much more difficult. That is when I saw how important it is to have a friend. A friend to ease the burden. A friend to take care of things when you can't. A friend to help you get home. Welcome back in touch with the legend. Yes, we are in touch with Ashley Rambane Pasi. So, Ashley, now we are in the Nintendo food. We are going to check our for training. Did you understand about training? We are in Nintendo food. Rango, and we are there. And the boys are not going to go to the training. So, we are going to go to the training. So, we are going to go to the training. So, we are going to go to the training. So, we are going to go to the training. So, we are going to go to what was going on with you? What was going on with you? I said, Look at the show. I'm going to go to the show. But it was different now. Yeah. I'm going to go to the group. When it comes to, to training, uh, I was always a, a serious guy. Mm. It didn't take me. Three four games. Could even just not go. So after about three four games, I was made the captain of that group. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. The captain that 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 group under fifteen. Mm. Uh, from there, then I just wanted. I, I went uh, through the ranks uh, at Capes United. From under fifteen. From under fifteen, I went under, to under seventeen. Under 17. Who was coaching the under seventeen at that time? When when we were playing for the under seventeen. It, it was like the, the following year now. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, on, uh, the other thing was, when I, when, I, when I was made the captain, then Caps United started paying for my, for my fees. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Which is field you go? Which is field. Then, I think that was the last time my father paid fees for me. Brilliant. It, it, it formed two. Because but why United, you, were they doing it for everybody else? I, 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 I would think so. I was not. I'm not. I'm not quite sure, but I would love to think so. Could he, my players? Yeah, I think if I want to, could he? Would you have any future? But he, also, I was. I wasn't coming from a. a, a I was coming from a Christian poor family. Mm -hmm. Of course, they could afford my fees, but yeah. kept saying, "What he?" But they don't. Let's just take off. Yeah. Uh, take yeah. off. Because I remember at some point, neighbor there was name. If I eat it, it's social welfare. Social welfare. Oh, yeah, okay. Social welfare yeah, yeah. was also paying for, for my fees. So when I told them that social welfare is paying for my fees, that's why they said it will take over. Okay. Uh, yeah. I hope some, some, some guys will be high zero. I'm not the soccer field. Because the mum sang over me. Ginger eating a baby. But I'm going to roll again. Because the end of the when I was when I was still at Prince Edward, we played against I feel that one. Ibo Baba. Ah, guys, I ran a little younger in a churu. I'm going to do it. 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 Of course, it was not the best of pitches, but the Rangara ground was out. Okay, and I just want But it seems like Prince Edward. 
Lord Morven, those who had better pitches when they come to to Highfields. We uh, obviously, uh, obviously, you were going to struggle. We and struggled. Uh, we yeah. used to hammer those teams. Hey, know. we struggled. <laughs> we I think we won about we won three zero. Yes, but uh, it was it was a struggle. So I just wanted I just wanted to hear with Raga Gadziro. And I don't know Gadziro. I don't want to come guys. Could the guys the ground running at So they were paying for for your fees. For my fees, yes. Mm. We went to perform too. I think from there it was now a journey. Moving through the ranks at, at Caps United from I moved through under 17 and under 17 by then I was now a player I, I, he, was so, like, he was going towards his, the end of his career I was mm. coach for under 17 at the same time I was a senior team uh, I remember one day uh, Caps Juniors were playing against Dynamo's Juniors at Routon and dub. it was a dub. <laughs> yeah. And also, our first team was supposed to travel, I think, to Blawayo. So, uh, you know, you, you used to come, you, you were playing. I think if you were there, if you were not, if you were still in, in Zimbabwe, I remember uh, people, they would meet at Routon. Yeah, we used to meet at Routon, at Routon. At that time, yeah. So they came, our senior, senior, senior guys, senior players from the first team, they came earlier on and they were watching the game. Yeah. And they scored a brilliant goal. I remember Stephen Quash was the Steve Quash was the the coach. The coach, he was there, and since that day, that's when he said this under seventeen should be promoted to be the reserve side. Mm -hmm. So I never played for under nineteen. Oh yeah, under seventeen. You have to go to Rwanda. You can eat me. Do you have to not eat a reserve side? Whoever is going to come from the who's going to be dropped from the senior team would join these guys to play in the reserve side. Mm -hmm. This is our reserve side now. That's how. That's when we were made the reserve side, and uh, that was that was under seventeen. You can see now, Steve. From today, this team we have a better regime because we were small. Yeah, we have a better regime. So, but a better regime called Empire, Empire Gym. Empire Gym, yeah. yeah. So, thirteen number days. Abracades, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, we would go for gym Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then from there, Tanga Tanga would develop. Which was much. good, yeah. yeah. Tanga would develop in terms of strength, mm. in terms of power. It, it was now football, now. That's my money focus. Exactly. Exactly. And you know, reserve side day Badaro. Yes. I remember by that time it was $120. Mm. And we would win every weekend. So my, you're, you're getting imagine. Paid. You are now getting paid every week. And you are in Form 3. Yes. You are getting paid. A hundred twenty dollars. What, what, what are you doing with that? Man? I remember, I remember, like I told you, Guti, Mama Wangu Wangu was engaged in board, and the good training they end up with swords. So, but that good development, and that good time, under seventeen, keeps United in Ghana. I would tip on my boots. Okay. I engage in my boots. So, a team. Yeah. Guti, yeah. when you get back training, you don't take my boots. So, even my games, and then also, I, I never want to take anger my personal, but I could not keep them at home. Because of my mom. Yeah. My boots are I got. No, I think I'm going to be my boots. I'm going to be my boots. And then I'm going to reserve side. Oh, I'm going to be reserve side. I'm going to be reserve side. Okay. Exactly. And I think my boots are going to be my boots. I'm going to be my boots. I'm going to be my boots. reserve side. I'm going to be my boots. They did not know. My boots are reserve. Reserve side. I got an Yeah. I think I got an for almost a year. And then they went to the market. Market. Because my mom would follow the market, my skirt. So I don't want to market my age and apple. Can not watch and disciple. So I want to see. Ah, I'm with us. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm in Mabutsa was Garana Thomas, did not did not train on. And then what happened was uh, I remember Patikas of Kwizi Wamar. Uh, one, two, three, four games. And it Van Masanga Ziv. Then in Boys is also to at Singa Piwe, Maria for Nogesh Piwa reserve side because times the Tirima Juniors. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. And it Saka when they started, Papa Zonyoso decided, no, these people should be paid. Both do you have reserve? Do you have reserve? I remember the first pay that they gave me, a uh, envelope. 
I just took that man. Ndo vanda inisa kuna mamu wangu. Ndika ta mama. Maria ta uinashi kubore. Maria uya nani time ya? Yeah. 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 That time I was still there. Yes, okay. I was still there. Yes, yes, yes. Because Mr. Ngwesha ndo yeye wewe. I to I was I took my envelope to my mom. Vanda ti mama, Maria ngwenda winashi kuborai. Vha vavura moms. Ah, 120 dollars. You why don't pay him and that no, you know I just need money for transport. Ye kwenda kuti ku training. Zvani mari ka zvicharambika. Vha mama wangu ndipo 20 dollars. Next Tuesday, and I win a food. In my food, in my food. food. But I know. So, what are we going to do with this man? I'll keep this man for you. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the future. I'll put it in the future. I know that's fine. And imagine with Kuchkoro, I would use the whole week. I would just need $10. Because there was, if you know the late Shepherd Sergeant, yeah, he was the yeah. Prince Edward. Yes, I know Shepherd he, Sergeant. His younger brother, yeah. he was my friend. Okay. We were in the same class, uh, in the same stream as well. I know that Jindy Sega, Lazarus Sergeant, why you go on Asha's Awaka envelope, Kaki Gari Abba? Was it a Takanaka? Takanaka, we get it. Saga, it was a lot of money. Yeah. We were a lot of money. Uh, uh, the following week, I had Kwang Cinema Games. So I was at home, and it was on, uh, on Saturday. My mom was on the Garapa Dean. What you want to do? Cool. What's going to do? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Now you can go. One license. Saga, I was playing for the reserve side when I was. I started playing for the reserve when I was in Form 3. Yeah. Then Form 4, playing, still playing for the reserve side. Kuchkoro, man. I'm going to go to Kuchkoro. When I was now playing for the safe side in form, form three, I started playing for the senior team. Because much more people A level. Yeah, yeah. Saga, under fourteen and fifteen when I was in form one. F form one and form two. Form three now under the Tango Tamba first team. And under under the Tango Tamba side they kept. Yeah. I was actually now a senior guy, much more in terms of football. Under the Tango Tamba first team. Ku kept. I progressed. Same position, which yeah, one? Yeah, now I was playing as a midfielder. Now, yeah. like high school, I never played as a defender. Yeah. I was just playing as a midfielder. But I was in, I was in an offensive midfielder. Yeah, I would play either on the right or on the left. Number eight or number ten. But night number eight, guy number ten. Mm. In Doma position, and later my boys, I was an offensive uh, midfielder. If you was a defensive midfielder, it's something that came later on with Chelsea Flower. Mm. Um, but that's how I, I progressed through the junior ranks at Cape United. How did how did you how did you get promoted to the first team? When now I was playing for the reserve side, uh, form four. When uh, then what I what time are you reserve side? Reserve side. I played with Leonard Sipa, mm -hmm. uh, Raymond Undi, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Brian Badza. Mm -hmm. Before he moved to Air Zimbabwe, mm. both from mm. from the reserve side, he moved to Air Zimbabwe. Okay, Brian. Yeah, he was playing for the first team. Then he Agazo Zoka okay. back later on. Uh, Thomas Sese, Thomas Sese also play, we played together the reserve side. Then Vazo move agenda to uh, some division CTS. Then Sporting Lions. Oh, okay. He moved to Sporting Lions. The same with Austin Mandawa. He also later moved to Sporting Lions. Uh, who else did I play with in the reserve side? And also some guys who would bring drop from the first team. Right. And uh Vangavasari my regulars. And I add to my biza and I add to a to a wondo. I got yeah, really yeah, remember wondo, yes, yeah. yeah. He would play with uh, there was also good. there was also Mbara, uh, Stephen Mbara. Yes, Paddy yeah. Mbara. The brother to to uh, to Augustine Bar. Okay. He was our defender. But a defender is God, God, the big defender. He God from Glenora. Yes, he from Glenora. Yeah, he was yeah. also dropping. Exactly. Good, actually, 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 God, yeah. he was a good defender. He was a very good, good defender. Player. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Very good defender. God. And also, even Sakwata, there was 
effort Sakwata. You know the Sakwatas. Uh, they were brothers. I don't, I don't remember Sakwata. Sakwata from Glenor. Mm. Most most of the guys. Yeah, mm. yeah mm. everyone. Wherever I drop, white or white or no matter good in the end, you would come and join group but yeah. obviously they will be given first preference yeah. to those guys right, and then yeah. Isuzu would fill in the the missing gaps mm. Mm. but uh, first team when i was now i moved to lord Marvin uh, for my a level uh, during that year i remember i remember my first game in the in the in the in the, in the, in the for the for the senior team it was a friendly game and i remember i played with you you were coming from South Africa. The, I think you played in South Africa, and then there was a time that you came back. Mm -hmm. We played against a team that was coming from England, Bolton. If Bolton. You yeah, yeah. In Rufa, in Rufaro Stadium. Rufaro Stadium. Yes, that I was my first game. game. Ah! I played that game with you. I'm trying to think. Who, who was you? Who, who, do you want to go on board? I was very young. Yes, I came, I came, and we yes, and Brasil forgot to come. Yes. Then I came because in each each time I come, I come back. They told we also they told train and a team, a team and everything. That was your first game. Yes, we played against a team from England. Yes, Bolton in in Faro Stadium. Yes, that was my game, my first game, and I played for about eighty five minutes, and then I was substituted for the for the remaining five. Memory is killing me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Then from there. Uh, our our first team, Japan on the During that year, I think I only featured in the senior team about five games. Because, but the 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 senior the the guys in my age group who played first in the first team was Jimmy Chocha. Mm -hmm. He was a winger. Uh, and I Steve Quash. Steve Quash. So what number eight? What time you open up? What number Steve Quash? Yeah, yeah, true. I was still yeah. at school, and there was Leonard Sipa. He played also ahead of me, and Moses Jackson. Mm. Moses Jackson. The, the, there's a funny story about Moses Jackson. Moses Jackson. He, we grew up together. He was a twin striker with Leonard Sipa. Mm. I remember so vividly that we, that there's a day our first senior team, Caps United. Went to play somewhere else, and then there was a, a team Green Green Buffaloes from from the Eastern Region. Mm -hmm. Green Buffaloes. Oh, in a Green Buffaloes. Baka, Baka requested a friendly game with Caps United. They wanted to play Caps United first team. Ndomba Zanzibar the Caps. We just sent this reserve side, but reserve side they are kind of purely that under seventeen. Okay. Tiro fan. Ndomba tayi na kuvengere, and that game was being played in Rusapi. Vengere Stadium. Okay. It was in like an independence or something. There was a function in Yai It's like some celebrations. So game where I'm around the Cape Sizes, Green Buffaloes. No matter how nice it was, fun. Ah, you know, Chambo Sanga, no one who saw the these guys were Umbi. I remember that team was being coached by Marunga Nyangela. Oh yes, Marunga can be coached by Green Buffaloes. We played that game. They were leading two, two by two goals. Mm -hmm. We came into the second half. Moses Jackson, I guess, I took my head. We actually drew that game two, two with those games. But I think I could need that. Moses Jackson. But we kept saying, "Hey, what should we do now?" Yeah. So I was talking to him. I was But I remember Marunga Nyangela. I should need. I should not go sign up. Moses Jackson, who who Green Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. But kept sick around. So that's when most Jackson and I got to Tango Tambiswa, a Mussina team. But I tell my camera, you know, what he passes in one or two, maybe one open team, three, four games. Then he disappeared. I think he went to South Africa or something. Novazo, Zuga, Budikira, Blawai, and Moses Jackson. I was actually surprised. We had to show Missy, you would go He's my guy. We actually grew up together, Moses yeah. Jackson. He was a top strike together mm. with Leonard Sip. And so, he popped on Dubanga Tamba Tamba first team, and then he could, when, I, when I was now upper six, and then he was a good feature, good feature. But now the problem when I was in upper six, and then I would concentrate is all with, with, with school. I want to go to school. I want this, and there was pressure. Yeah. And to go out in the past, mm. and at the same time, he was a good 
ndakange ndi satambi ndasainde ku training mm. zve kuti my mom actually went and announced kuti mwana oita kumbo mumisa kuti awe kuchi kubora ndova nda miswa saka but zvaindaiita manje ndaiita ndakamba ndatanga ku rotamba kuni kama ka division 2 ka train na mazimba grounds okay yeah. kaita ndaenda ku training kwa tuesday ni friday ndova ndatamba game saturday mm. kana pa weekend so okay bisa kuti bvuma kuti it was, okay. it was, it was Mm. But then on the last day of my my A upper six, pande zora ngai pesero nyora my exams. Mm. It was on a Friday. Ndo vanda enda kutraining ku caps. Na kano shika ku training ku caps iiri Friday. Ndo vanda tu tanga ku train. Nda izika no outa. Then there was Steve Kwashi and there was also a Papa Papa uh, Nyazika. Mm. But it was his first time to see me. Saka pande training pepe parutu kwa madrus maji. Nyazika is like. Who's this guy? Who's this Mfano? Ndomba Andy Daida. Pana Steve Kwashi. Kwanzi nezi tafu. Plus, njenu kwa Mfano? Kwanzi mm. nao hii play edu. Badangari kuchikoro. Chichi chichi chichi. Kwanzi kwanzi. Ah, mtomu tingati mtambi sayi mangwana. Because the game that was being played on the following day was the last game of the season as well. Yeah. Kwanzi kwanzi. Ah, ngati mtambi sayi mangwana mani Mfano. Kwanzi kwanzi na Plus tafu. I should not tamper. Ndikati endu kuda. Kwanzi kwanzi. Ah, sure. Ndikati endu kuda. Kwanzi kwanzi. All right. Chim Ndumba team ya kusele kituwa na Blast Steve after, after training Senior team Ndumba yanzi eh, This is our team Jukanzi Ashley Rambane Pass It was Ashley Moose yeah. Ashley Moose Saka ndaka famba dijienda ji I didn't like it, I didn't make it Saka you move, you change that side Ndumba da famba, nangu da bo two steps Jukanzi, hii we mfane, honga kwa ni mtimi we Zoke roko Blast Steve, you know Blast Steve yeah. um, Ndumba da zoke roko then we were there for one year. Ningi, 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 ningi. Seventeen guys. No, for just to be there. And the Ashley. We are going to play. We are going to play. We are going to We are supposed to play Black Aces. Mm. That game, Aces, I just so. I have any problems. I na kuto zomba. I na kuto fulfill the the fixture. I na kuto game. Eh, yeah. but that was actually my my first league. My first appearance in the team. In the team, you would in the room. The But 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 Definitely. Next week, guys, in Mangoes, we're not having a chair. At the part three, Nyaya Jagareba, Ashley Musa has got a lot, a lot of history to talk to talk about. To tell us, like, unfortunately, we have run out of time. We have to go. Time is up. So, Ashley, we will have to come for part two next week. I know I'm going to complain. Ah, uh, guys, ah, uh, guys, but no, as later, guys. But he is here. He will come for part two. You promise, and it's yeah, next I, week. I promise, and also, and also. I think it's just just your, your lucky day. Since he, he Francis was chasing after me since yeah. last year, and I was just giving him promises that I'll come, yeah. I'll come, I'll come. But today it's just your lucky day, and also you are the first guys to see my new look. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. I hopefully next week I'll, I'll I'll be able to attend. Definitely, definitely. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. Uh, this is Ashley Musa Rambane Pasi. He was here telling us about his footballing journey. My name is Alois Bunjira, and this show powered by Nyarazo Group. We are back with Ashley Musa Rambane Pasi next week. Don't miss this show because it promises to be explosive. Because this is the show that we are now talking about his career in the Zimbabwe Premier Soccer League, studying with Caps United. Dynamos, Arazo, Tamara National Under 17, Under 20, National Senior Team, Saka, all those there in our party to make sure you don't miss this one. But for now, we are out of here. Enjoy.